<laughs> you know, the other thing, we were so far away. So, at least we got done early and got back to Rock Island. <laughs> the national media got into the, into the act when you guys, uh, I, I, we made a poster of your Sports Illustrated. Uh, people forget Bob Reese was on the cover of that Sports Illustrated when Miami went to 17-0. I believe that year they beat the Redskins in the Super Bowl. And uh, there's you and Bruce. Of course, that legendary uh, headline, the Swedes are meatballs no more. Um, how, 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 did, how did that, how do you handle that when you're 21 years old? I mean, you're in Sports Illustrated. I mean, that, you know, I'm sure Mort Schleimer. Well, you get the, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it right there. You know, but okay, this was, uh, and it, it took us by surprise. I think the coaches told us uh, about three days before they were coming in. Oh, by the way, Sports Illustrated is coming in here. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, uh, don't know if I totally agree, I, I was, I remember, I was totally shocked uh, that they would be coming on campus. But it was a big deal uh, for the school. I, I think it had showed uh, how much, uh, uh, how much respect we, we had. Obviously, uh, obviously from what had happened in, in Kansas City the year before, we had gotten somebody's radar screen. Uh, but it is still, uh, and when I think of it to this day, for this, uh, for, for us to be in there, it was really neat. Now, okay. Okay, so the next year probably a little bit to put that <laughs> The, uh, John, this is a special team, special people, a small person uh, for this group. Uh, what do you have to say in both? Okay. This team was surrounded by excellence. Let's leave the players aside on this for a moment. I'm very happy to see you tonight as one of the guests, Paul Mike. Yeah. He's a reporter, WLS TV, I believe, in Chicago. He was uh, he was a student play by play. Uh, although he graduated in '72, and if anyone has ever heard Paul do a play by play, it's it's like a Don Sharp. That was that was the kind of uh, that was the kind of person we had there. You know, our trainer for four years, Bill Peel. Bill left Augustana, and then for six or seven years went and did the same thing for the Phoenix Suns in the NBA. Tim McGrath. When I entered Augustana, there was no sports information director. I think it was under the information department. And at least maybe during my freshman year, they had created a position, which Jim took, which was part-time student sports information director. And he grew that position. And he was responsible, yes. Was there a hand in the position? I'm sure there was. Uh, and if we look at where Jim is today, He's assistant athletic director and head sports information information director at Butler University, which in my opinion represents everything there is good about Division I athletics. This was just the folks that we had around as we've already talked about the coaches. Uh, the team had really been this had been molded over a few years. You know, it had started in 69, 70 when at least Augustana had his first winning season in a long time. You know, Mark and I uh, were, were in the lineup uh, that year. Uh, during during sophomore year, Chuck comes in, Drew Bosser comes in, Vandy's starting to define his role as sixth man on that team, and, and the team wins, the team shares the conference championship with Illinois Wesley. Higher expectations the third year, although somewhat of a uh, not a real strong start, finished very strong, and the final piece was coming in because in a very tough, uh, in, 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 a, in a very tough arena, uh, the freshman Bruce uh, is, is one of the reasons that we were doing so well with we were in Kansas City. He just had a phenomenal, uh, he had a phenomenal run right there. So the pieces were there. That team came out of there, and there was, uh, uh, there was no one graduating. The other advantage that they had was during that 72-73 season, 
season they were going to be practicing against the 73 74 conference champs outside of Bruce but we're seniors so we're going to take their best guy <laughs> but you know that was the quality of person because once look at it when, once the, the seniors graduated in 72 73 this thing didn't miss a beat they went on and won a conference championship I think it was 15 and 1 it was 15 and 1 they went back to the national tournament they went to the round of eight. You know, they started with 32 teams. They watched 24 go home. That was the people that were striving us every day in practice. You know, I, I, Jim, Jim mentions as we were at the football game today, you know, about some of those. He goes, and, and oh, by the way, we had Cecil was a freshman, so he was in there too, you know. And, and like Mandy said, well, he didn't want Colsey or Cecil guarding their practice. <laughs> God. You know, so so this thing, this thing, the coaches had been forming. The coaches had not just forming it for that year, but it would continue on after that. And and I think the results were pretty good. Did we reach our goal of the national championship? No, we did not. Uh, should we probably? You know, we didn't really belong in the NAI because we were not a full scholarship school. But the coaches never. We were. We never even thought of that. Uh, you know, the coaches did not let us think about. We weren't. We knew about winning streaks. We didn't know what they were because they never talked about it. You know, to my knowledge, we were never ahead at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> These were the great second half coaches. <laughs> you know, and, and in the last play, Mandy shot, and it goes back to their preparation for us. Mandy shot, although it was off of a broken play. We had situational plays for all of those things. Two seconds, three seconds left in the game, ball out here on the court, ball out here. That's how we were prepared. That's how it was put together. Well, John, it's a great run. It's been a great day. I hope for you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy coming back and, and, and getting together again. And, and uh, you know, from all of us in the athletic department, uh, our heartfelt congratulations. Thank you.
group photo or individual inductees. And go ahead and bring your plaques up as well.